Howdy people and welcome to this video. Today we're going to be presenting the OAXP 3 Gun Marcarino. This is the tier 5 uh, heavy tank, the tier 5 Japanese heavy tank. Uh, the one that's really fast and has no armor. In case you're wondering, it's not the tier 6 OI. I get that a lot of people uh, confuse the tank, you know. The tier 5 one is pretty fast. It's probably one of the fastest tier 5 uh, heavy tanks. If not the fastest, you know, which is pretty weird considering its size. It also has a pretty beefy gun with 300 alpha damage, which is terrible for your opponents because basically two shot most tier 5 tanks. One shot tier 4 tanks. Yeah, balance. But it has its drawbacks. It's a huge tank with no armor. Like the front armor is uh, 75, so you really ain't gonna pen. You, you ain't gonna bounce anything. Okay, so we're on uh, Erlenberg, I'm going here on the two, three line. T29 went in front, so I'm hoping he's gonna get me some some spots. The the best way to deal with this tank, I think, is to support the team. You know, it's more of a sniper tank. I if you try to brawl on it, if you try to use the armor, which doesn't exist, you're gonna go down quite fast. You do have 700 health to, to go, but uh, it's a really paper tank. There's a T25 going on the side. I uh, missed him, and I'm getting shot from the hill, so I gotta back off at this point. And I still wanna shoot him, because he's just roaming around there freely. More that I'm gonna get shot by Artie. And a lot of times you do get one-shotted, I said. Paper armor. Is he acting out there? I'm the hell. Let me see if I can get the shot off. I snapshot it because I was getting shot, you know. So, I bounced. The gun on the, the, the penetration on this is it's 130 with normal AP and 150 with uh, premium, H, premium AP. Which is uh, good enough for, you know, tier 7 games. Which is the, the worst case scenario you can get with this tank. So at this point I'm just going uh, towards the enemy team, towards uh, the Act Panther. There's an Ice 2 in the back, so I gotta try to do some shots into him. And luckily we managed to shoot him in the turret. Not exactly the most accurate gun, but uh, I think the DPM is terribly good on this tank. The second one bounced. The TPM is terribly good on this tank. Yeah. You probably won't find DPM as good as this in uh, Peg. The T29 has a uh, what is the alpha damage of the T29? It's 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 around 300, and uh, I think it's 320, and it shoots once every eight or nine seconds. So even the T29 doesn't have as good DPM as this tank. So it's yeah ridiculous. Anyways, I'm going under the the ridge. I wanna, I wanna spot the Yak Panther and shoot him if I, if I can. The team is sort of crumbling down like we lost uh, the other side. So I gotta go get some spots and get some damage. I think the Yak Panther is hiding all the way in the back so it's gonna be easier for me to make my way towards him. You know, if he's not in the bush. There he is and we got the, the kill. Now I want to head down and uh, kill the ice too, but bear in mind it's still three arties. It's pretty risky. Not sure if it's worth it, and I realize it's not worth it. But then again, the arty shoots me, and since I got uh, quite decent view range on this thing, I popped the shot and I spot the guy. I spot the guy and I kill him. I seem fit that it's not worth it to go. It's not worth it to go for that is two, uh, and worth dying, you know. I lost half my HP already, so I'm gonna go back to base and defend. It is quite easy to defend uh, both the caps on this map. For instance, on this map, you, all you gotta do is go to A3. There's that opening there, you can, you can spot the enemy teams coming, you can shoot them, it's open field. From the other side is the same, you can defend from H9 for example. Pretty simple, that's why I never try to cap on this map. It's too dangerous. So there's two enemy tanks coming in, the Skoda and the Hellcat. Uh, it is going to be hard, like the Skoda can clip me now with this uh, three-shot outloader. 
So uh, I really don't want to risk it. I'm going on the lower side. This thing has a little bit of gun depression. I want to use it. I see the Hell Kitty. Papa Nice 317 into him. If he stays there, he's going to die fast. I just don't want to get shot by the, by the Skola. So I back off a little bit. Hellcat is reversing super slowly. Probably know how bad a Hellcat reverse speed is. And we got the kill. Skoda shot once, which means he's got two shells left. And he's one shot for me. So I'm... There you go. That was a Comet. That came unexpectedly. The T25 died. There's only Artie and Oi. And... Um, yeah. Two Arties and an Oi left. We have to go for them at this point. I'm gonna go towards the middle so I can spot the guy. The only chance of me penning the OI is either by a very lucky RNG roll with premium AP shells in the front or by shooting him in the side. And I have no idea if he's gonna allow me to get close to him. In any case, he's full HP. It's gonna be a feast for whoever shoots him. But he's poking with the side, so that's actually quite good for me. He's in the distance, he's peeking with his side. Half of the tank is exposed and he's detracked. So there's gonna be a feast for us farming the damage arenos. Well, I got another blind shot on him there. So far we got 1600 damage. I don't know if I'm gonna make it towards the arty. I'm pretty sure I got the blind shot on the oi also. All we gotta do is go find Arda. As I said, the tank is quite fast for a heavy tank. Acceleration is pretty good. 40 km at top speed. It's actually just as fast as most tier 5 medium tanks. Which is uh, surprising. Indeed. This combination... Uh, I actually took this tank. I bought it for the tier 5 XP contest. That Wargaming uh, had, and uh, I chose this thing because it's because of the speed and because of the gun. It's. Uh, I, I can honestly say you tend to play it like a medium tank, but you got the, the bonus of having a lot of health. Like, usually, uh, tier 5 medium tanks have what? 500 health? Four or five hundred health, and this one has seven hundred. So you're pretty much a decently fast tank with a big HP pool. No armor, nonetheless. But you can still afford to trade a couple of shots. Well, Lorraine is going on the other side, and uh, yeah, I'm trying to go for the M41. Evie is probably gonna kill him by the time I get to him. There we go, he's dead. And on the other front, there's another V chasing the Lorraine. And I'm just jerking the, the camera back and forth like I always do. Let's see if he gets the kill. So we can go to the game results. There we go, yeah, I still got him. Alrighty then. We managed to land the three gun Macarinos on the tank. 45k credits. 1,746 XP, 2,209 damage, 3 kills, 1,164 base XP. We got some 645 assist damage also. And in the end we lost 3k credits because I'm running uh, food on this tank. And I also had to shoot a couple of uh, gold AP shells. But all in all it wasn't too bad. That's about it for this video boys, I hope you guys enjoyed, please like and subscribe if you did and tell me what you think about this tank in the comments below. Thank you for watching and see ya.